So we're here with Rebecca McBride at the Verge Art Fair to talk a little bit about uh, her work and um, your process, I guess. Uh, one of the first things I, uh, I was curious about is this series of decapital theaters and how you got started doing them, these images you're, you're making of these old uh, San Francisco theaters. Why San Francisco and what drew you to that? Um, I lived in San Francisco for 13 years. Okay. And I had a film background with uh, my partner and I started, or she started a film festival. Oh, okay. Um, and what was the name of the festival? Uh, Mad Cat Women's International Film Festival. Okay. And um, so we had a lot of film maker friends. Yeah. And uh, I have a close friend of mine who's actually working on a documentary about single screen movie theaters. Okay. And huh. he was a manager at the Castro Theater at the time. Okay. And the they were doing Castro a renovation. Theater. Yeah. And he asked me, he said, you should document this renovation because they have never renovated since they opened the theater in the 1920s. Wow. So, okay. Um, huh. So I, that's where I started. And then when I uh, tagged along with him when he was shooting some theaters for his film, I just basically created a body of work and decided to do a, make a book. Well, it's, it's, it, it seems like you really kind of got a, um, you fell in love with these theaters then. Oh, absolutely. Yeah? Yeah. What was it about them that really... Happened? Well, for me, I mean, I love the movie-going experience. Yeah. And uh, our friends, the, the way that we would meet up from the movies. Okay. And, uh, I have a lot of nostalgia for that. Like, I just um, love the camaraderie of going to the movies and... Um, Which is all changing now, because everybody's watching I mean, at home, you know, iPads, and... Uh, do you feel like you find theater, you miss yeah. that uh, yeah. communal experience of it? It's not the same. Right, yeah. yeah. So film festivals uh, kind of bring that, keep that going, but... It's, uh, yeah, you have to go and uh, actually see these first run. Yes. Yeah. But I still believe in going to the movies. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's hard to get. It's hard to do. Right. So as a, as an art, like what kind of uh, statement are you making? It's like this is a, these are like abandoned old movie houses. Like they that that idea that like feeling of like lost grandeur. Yeah. I mean, uh, some of these theaters are still open, which is good. Uh, not all of them are okay. yeah. yeah. Some of them have since closed. Yeah. Um, some are still standing yeah, so, as movie theaters, but they're not. Uh, but call me in case there's a teachers. Okay. 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 But um, this is almost kind of a rescuing thing that you're, that you're doing at the same time. Kind of. It's like yeah. Or a preservation hope. archive. Uh, definitely a hope. I mean, I was yeah, hoping okay. that um, the book would. Yep. Yep. Um, all my stuff is here. And their book is that with what press again? Card to press. Card to press. Yes. Okay. So you can you can actually go to their website and purchase yes. it. Yes. They actually uh, also went under. But, um, oh right, you mentioned that. Okay. Yes, uh, so is the book but still available? You can actually then? get my book yes through uh, my website actually. Okay, which is leftinthedark.info. Leftinthedark.info. Okay, that's and, um, okay. Yes. Okay, uh, and also, do you have these images that you're showing here available through your website then? I do, but I don't have anything for sale. So right, okay. if anyone's interested, you can just right. contact me directly. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. So this body of work now, do you feel like it's completed, or are you still is this something I you're still expanding on? It is complete for me. Okay. Um, I because now I'm in Brooklyn, and right. but I do think about the theaters that I've yeah. been to and have since been closed. Um, so you're not you're not actually doing more images of no, this series. No, I am not. Okay. I have moved on to uh, Coney Island. Oh, okay. So yes. this is the, your new work. It is. Okay. It's, it's, it's uh, also a work in progress. I mean, it's, you just started uh, this. What's that? You just started the Coney Island? Studios? I did not, actually. I used to oh, come, okay. I've been working on it since 1999. Oh, okay. So, uh, but I've just, because since I've moved here seven years ago, I've been working on it more actively. Okay. And, um... So is it similar in content to what you Yes, I, you know, and, uh, I'm finding that I like to photograph public spaces without people in them. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is an interesting kind of juxtaposition, like the, the public space, absent public. Well, I guess I just want to, uh, I guess, uh, create a portrait of the space. Right. The, yeah, of the landscape. Yes. Yeah. Classic. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Well, I think that's actually a pretty good capsule overview. You can go to your website to learn more, so. Great. Thank you.